I'm back for day two of New York Comic Con. Let's kick ass and rock! I'm here with artist Michelle Delecki. Michelle, how you doing? Good, how are you? Fine, fine. How has Comic-Con been treating you? Uh, it's pretty fun, kind of crazy. Uh, a lot of people walking around and stuff, so uh, pretty excited to be here. <laughs> so. All right, so when did you uh, first start reading comic books? Uh, you know what, actually, uh, a bunch of friends of mine in um, like junior high, I was like 13, they, they were like, oh, check it out. This is like this new X-Men book you got to check out. So I did. I got to, um, basically, I was introduced to X-Men as a kid. And then, like, we would trade uh, trading cards. So I guess shout out to Tom. Tom Reza, Gabe. <laughs> no, totally awesome. Those guys got me into uh, Jim Lee. So I, I really like, like, uh, Jim Lee X-Men. So. so was he one of your big influences? And also, what other were some of your influences? Uh, yeah, I actually like Jim. Uh, I like his work a lot. I think he's really good. Um, I like Adam Hughes. I like, uh, I think Alex Ross is really, really, really good. Uh, <laughs> Travis, Travis Charest is really good. Uh, there's, there's a lot of really awesome artists. Um, I'm friends with Bill. I think Bill's an awesome artist, but if I start naming <laughs> all these artists, how awesome they are, <laughs> we'll be here all day. <laughs> so, what have been some of your favorite characters and titles to work on? Uh, you know, I really, 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 really like to do uh, Venom. I thought Venom was awesome, and uh, working on Deadpool, the Deadpool X Force uh, covers that was that was pretty rad. But now we're working on this new book called Xend, and uh, that's been eating up a lot of my time in the studio. But basically, here's the variant cover. This is what it looks like. The actual issue, issue one. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, it's it's about a kid, like a, a kid that um, his twin brother dies in a horrible car accident. So uh, basically, uh, the main antagonist of the story, he's trying to escape his sad life, and he's um, he's basically playing video games to forget about his problems, and he ends up playing this game this mysterious game, and he gets sucked into their world as he's playing, and then he leaves the world, and it follows him back onto Earth. So all of his powers and everything that he's been doing in that video game translates over into the real world, and he starts, like, really screwing stuff up over here, like, you know, stealing cars, you know, robbing people, being a bad guy, but then he's like, uh-oh, like, I'm going to be chased by, you know, authority and stuff, but it's... Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like an original story about a bunch of kids that like play a video game and then the game follows them back. So it's from Image. It's an Image book. Cool, cool. So what's the dynamics of working with your husband Shane Davis on the title? It's awesome. It's really cool. Uh, we work in our, our studio and uh, basically, you know, he draws the page and as soon as he's done drawing it, he hands it over to me and I ink it. <clears throat> but it doesn't end there because, you know, after he's... It's been written, it's drawn, I ink it, then we have to edit it. And that's like basically something that I do. I'm, I'm kind of in charge of the editing on the book. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. We've got Maury doing colors. He's a really awesome colorist. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of metal being played in the, nice. in the studio. Nice. Yeah. Um, how long does one, did one issue take to, to work on? Um, between the two of us? Yeah. Roughly about, I would say, two months. Okay. Roughly, give or take, between the two of us. So, we work really quick, considering the detail work, but, right, um, right. yeah, like, we don't really take time off, we're always working. <laughs> nice. So. Nice, but a lot of work. Yeah, and you yeah. guys have been spinning a lot of metal. What, uh, what tracks inspire you when you're working? Oh, dude, all kinds of stuff. I listen to a lot of thrash. I've been on a thrash kick, so like stuff like Megadeth, Testament, um, Slayer, lots and lots of Testament. But I like my my speed metal and my um, 
the, you know, all the guys that did shrapnel, like uh, Racer X is awesome. I picked up a, a Bruce Boulay um, solo album that I've been rocking out to also in the studio. It's really awesome. So, yeah, shred metal. Nice. Shred nice. metal. So uh, did you get to listen to any of the new stuff that came out from, like, Slayer or anything? Uh, actually, no. I, I've listened to a lot of the 80s, 80s stuff. But um, I've been really out of the loop. I know Iron Maiden's going on tour. I'm going to try to catch those guys. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, heavy metal, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so any other projects you got lined up or anything? Um, not right now. The only thing that we're really working on and focusing on is Xcend. Okay. So we're going to try to finish that up and... Um, Hopefully people like it, All so right. we can continue making it. So, yeah, just extend, buy it. <laughs> uh, any fi <laughs> any final words? Um, not really. I mean, I just tell you guys to buy it, but you All know, right. you're, you're gonna buy it and say, oh, I, that's that little that little metal chick, the really cool little metal chick that that <laughs> draws. So, yeah, buy it. It's awesome. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Pleasure interviewing you. Pleasure. Thank awesome. You.